Well, well, well. Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Minutes out last night, uh, pointing to a rate rise <coughs> next month. So that's pretty standard. Uh, let's go to Aussie. Uh, the gift that keeps giving. Core short paid. Uh, down to 72.90 last night. This is a sell rally uh, today. You can try and uh, we squared our shorts from last night here. We're going to be reselling at uh, 04, 14, and 24. Uh, we believe this 73.80 here now is the top of the range. As we said, the bottom of the range is 72 figure. Um, so that's uh, that's nice. Elsewhere, dollars a little bit bid. We didn't have conviction in our euro dollar shorts yesterday, and when all this Trump news came out, we ended up getting square again. Uh, this one, 1540, as we talked about yester yesterday, is going to be a pivot and support. It was support again this morning, 40 to the low. Uh, but now below 40, there's going to be some stops and there's going to be some risk. So. Uh, we don't have super high conviction on this, uh, just because any terrible news about the president, people will buy euros. But the bull bear line for this, is the important number is 115.40. Uh, we will not be playing in euro dollar today, but I just want to point it out to everybody. On the flip side, we do like shorting euro yen. Uh, we all remember 10 days ago, 128.50 was a huge break breakdown in the beginning of uh, the big euro waterfall lower. Any price is near 50, he can sell. He kind of want to go sort of like 35 to 55 today. Uh, short euro yen, if we get up there. Equities, sticky, marginally softer. Uh, we went printed up, up to 68 yesterday, but if you look at this now, we have our sort of turn bar. We have lower highs, lower lows, but a bullish day, green day. We really need a red day today for this to for this to stick. Uh, you just have to have your stops above the high. There's no no getting around that. So be disciplined with that. And uh, let's have a look. Dollar CAD. This is kind of interesting. Uh, 130.56. It's kind of a pivot. 130.50 was kind of the, the sticky pivot on Tuesday. We did print 56. I'm betting there's some risk above this 56 area, and Dollar CAD could easily zip back up to sort of 131 the figure, 13090 is the 200 hour. Uh, we don't have any news in CAD today, but just keep an eye on that. Um, and finally, Dollar Rand. Got a little hysterical last night, went down to 1413. Um, this is a buy on dips down here, anywhere towards 14 for a move back to 15. South Africa's fucked. Um, so we'll be looking to collect dollar rand. Alright, that's all I got for you today. Uh, core short Aussie, core short stocks. Watching these pivots in Euro and dollar CAD. Um, good luck out there, people. Talk to you later. Ciao.